back to my channel so if you want to know how i got this glossy cute orange summer vibes makeup then keep watching so i'm going into the juvie's place my magic mini palette and i told you guys in my last video if you watched it that i love this palette and i was definitely so excited to play with it some more so i'm just doing like a smoky eye using a fluffy brush blurring out my edges and just making it fit building the color up and making it very smoky then I'm taking a flat brush and I'm just packing that orange color on my lid so I skipped the part with my face routine because it's literally all the same and I bake because I have beauty chicken skin it's so greasy and so oily so I just bake while I'm take while I'm doing my hair if you want to know where I got this hair from I will link it below if you want to check that out as I'm winding the hair, you're supposed to twist the hair. If you want to get like that cute, bouncy curl, you twist the hair. Do not wrap the hair around the curling wand flat. Twist it and then that'll give you a cute little curl. Back in the day, like before wand curls were like super popular, I used to be like the wand curl queen. <laughs> like every time I would wand curl my hair, people would always ask me to do theirs, give me so many compliments on the curls, and I'd be like, ready, just wand curl. So that's my secret, that's my tip. That's how I get popping as wand curl sis. Let's talk about it. A lot of people tell me to do like girl talk, like on my YouTube videos, like when I'm doing makeup and stuff. And I usually don't know what to talk about. Like, so y'all leave me some topics below. But I did see a post on the internet, and um, it was on the shade room. It was like, what are deal breakers for you in a relationship? So, one of my deal breakers, honestly, and me and my best friend, Bria, we were actually talking about this too. Like, a deal breaker for me is honestly like kids. Like, <laughs> I just don't want to date somebody with kids disrespectful like no you just can't be out here like disrespecting me period like no i can't deal with stuff like that um so, i was looking through the comments some people were saying like a lot of people were saying kids um people were saying like respect to in, being inconsistent like no like i get so bored easily so if I ain't talk to you for like two days, I'm off you. Like, bye, bye. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm over it now. I just don't like it. Don't introduce me to a vibe that you can't maintain, okay? Heard you. Okay, so now I'm taking this Guardian Fructis hair oil that I love. I would definitely recommend this product. It is a great hair oil. And just rubbing my fingers through the curls and just like finger combing them out. So they could be fluffy, that's how I get one of the Barbie curls. And now I'm taking the Beauty Supply House lip gloss and this fan, small fan brush. But of course, you can use any brush, you can even use your hand. And I'm just going over the smoky eye, no specific, you know, way or anything. Going over the orange smoky eye. I could have even used my hands because my nails were so short. But any brush will work. And I'm just putting a lip gloss on there, it's really easy. And I set my face, that's why my face looks so wet. I always spray my face with Mario Badescu spray right before my highlight. And then I put on my highlight just to make it more popping, just to make it shimmer more. So if you want a popping highlight, spray your face right before you put on your highlighter. But don't put it on directly after because your face is still really wet. You want your face to be pretty damp. So because um, things, it can come off very, um, the highlight can be pretty harsh if your face is too wet. You don't want it to look too harsh, but you do want it to be popping and beating. So, yeah. My nephew was over my house, so that's why he was in the shot. <laughs> and now I'm taking my favorite blush ever in life. And I am just putting on that blush, packing on the blush. Like, y'all know blush is my favorite. Okay, then I'm taking a NYX liner, lining my lips, putting on MAC lip gloss, lip glass, and Oyster Girl, and then putting on Beauty Supply lip gloss. Then I spray my face, tw I spray my face twice. I also spray it when I'm done with my makeup completely, then I set it with Urban Decay setting spray. I never show myself spraying my face because I always feel like that I just look dumb. But setting your face and spraying your face is a big 
key that you do not want to miss when you're doing your makeup. But I hope you guys enjoyed this glossy summer fun orange look and I love how it came out. I hope you guys did too. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you. Bye.